the CBD industry getting new competition from those still in school. Take a look at the cutting edge program in Tennessee's hemp industry. We'll see you after the break. You're watching News 2 at 4. The big hemp news coming out of Rutherford County was billed as the first university-developed CBD formula is now on store shelves. And that university, Middle Tennessee State. News 2's Linda Ong has been following this process for us. She joins us now with a first look at the finished products. CBD product after CBD product, Line Amata Wellness in Murfreesboro. We wanted the best of the best. If you look close enough, one might catch your eye. Zero in on the new Tennessee labels, and you'll see Middle Tennessee State University printed on the packaging. It is very exciting to be here, and MTSU and Greenway Herbal Products have a, uh, a commercialization agreement. That agreement dates back to 2016. Jeff Heron is the CEO of Greenway Herbal Products, which owns the Tennessee line. He says Greenway awarded a 10-year hemp research grant to MTSU. One of the uh, discoveries happened to be a formula of CBDA and CBD uh, as our differentiator. Heron says that synergy in Tanasi's products versus just CBD alone is what separates the line from others. The anti-inflammatory benefits of a uh, hemp extract is really what people are drawn to first and foremost. The chemical composition of the 22 SKU product line ranges from tinctures and topicals to ginseng and capsules born in this MTSU research lab. Last June, I caught up with the PhD students and research lead professor on the project. These are clones of hemp plants that we use uh, for research in our work. Testing the compounds that could be isolated from hemp, both cannabinoids and terpenes. The product, patent pending, and according to Heron, just the beginning of more wellness products to come. We are looking at other cannabinoids, CBG, CBN. There's so much to discover. I mean, we're just really getting started. Very exciting there, and Heron reminds folks that CBD is not a cure-all. Now, again, the products are patent-pending. A provisional patent was filed last April, and Heron says that an official patent will be filed in April of this year.